Ya, Perang Rusia-Ukraina telah membuat produksi dan distribusi berbagai komoditas terganggu. Salah satunya adalah komoditas gaduh. Pasalnya Rusia dan Ukraina Pemirsa harga mie instan di Wheat is one of the most important staple foods in the world because it can be processed to many different products. However, it is well known that not all countries can grow wheat easily. That is why we rely on export-import activities. Any disruptions in regards to global supply chain will affect the price of wheat. So, here we can see that recently in 2022, the price of wheat is at its peak. The price is almost doubled from the last three years. We found that there are three main causes for this phenomenon. The first one is climate change, which increased the world temperature that is not good for wet production. On the other hand, the world population is growing so fast, making the demand also grows. The second cause is the COVID-19 pandemic in 2020 that lasts for months even up till now. Pandemic restricts people's mobility and of course the import-export activities. And the last cause is, is the ongoing war between Russia and Ukraine because both countries are great contributors for world's wet supply. One of the products of wheat is instant noodles, which is very popular worldwide, including in Indonesia. However, Indonesia is not a wheat producer. So, to fulfill the need for noodles production, noodles companies depend the wheat supply from other countries. The current circumstances of wheat supply chain threatens the increasing price of instant noodles. Since the target market is middle and middle to lower end class, this will negatively impact the company to lose sales. So, what's the solution? The solution is to conduct food diversification. Food diversification is the process of selecting food ingredients that will produce various alternatives that will not cause dependence on one type of food. The demand for wheat, which is made in the wheat flour, is increasing along with consumer demands for instant noodle. So, it has an impact on the noodle industry. Therefore, alternative raw material is used, mokaf flour. What is mokaf? Mokaf or modified cassava flour is a processed cassava product that has been modified and used to make many food products. The manufacturer mokaf use a fermentation with lactic acid bacteria and produce mocha flour which is whiter than wheat flour. Based on research, mocha flour can be used as a type for wheat flour between 20 until 100 percent. There is a lot of study in the journal show that a good noodle industry 25% to 50% of the total flour used can be mixed with mocha flour for high quality noodles. We took mocha flour with the keola pen because the price is cheaper than with flour. So, the profit obtained for substitution per kilogram is 2800. In the production of PT mocha flour sino flour, each batch requires 200 grams of mocha flour and 350 grams of wheat flour, which will produce 5 packages in instant noodle product. If the company has a demand for 5,000 instant noodle, it will need 200 kg of mocha flour and 350 kg of wheat flour. So, this cost is certainly cheaper than using 100% wheat flour. There is an impact resulting from the use of mocha flour with organoleptic test or noodle product will affect the color, aroma, and texture that is different from original noodles. And the product price is much cheaper than using wheat flour. The result of the research on the organoleptic properties of the aroma showed that the preference level of the panelists tended to decrease along with the high substitution of mocha flour. Lastly, the more substitution of mocha flour, the cheerier it will be due to starch gelatinizing and gluten coagulation even during heating. One of the products that we can find in Indonesia is lemonilu. 
in addition, the protein content of noodle with mocha flour has met the quality requirements according to Indonesian national standard. Mocha, an alternative to wheat flour, to maintain the price of instant noodle in regard of sustainability, combating weight waste, and certainty.